Washington Convention and Sports Authority is negotiating an arrangement with the city to open a visitor center near the Washington Convention Center. The plan involves transforming the historic Carnegie Library building into a permanent site to draw convention traffic and other visitors. The Historical Society, which currently holds a rent-free lease on the library, would remain in the building and continue to operate a library and gallery on the second floor if a deal is reached. In D.C., where politics and big business runs the town, there is little room for small businesses to share the wealth. There are some businesses who have figured out a way to outbeat their big business competitors. For Frank Asher of Old City Green, he has made his small business around the new hype of sustainable, eco-friendly products. Here is an in-depth look into Frank and Old City Green. My personal mission is to bring the sense of garden and nature into the urban environment. My name is Frank Asher. I'm owner of Old City Green, and it's an inner city nursery. We're trying to get a landscaping co-op going. That's a little slowed around, but right now we sell plants, pots, soil, mulch, seeds. I started out as a guerrilla gardener, just kind of taking over pieces of land that had been abandoned and just doing whatever I wanted to do. And then people saw that I was taking care of it and they wanted a business card. So I came up with a name of a gardening business called Fairies Crossing, F-A-I-R-I-E-S apostrophe crossing. So it's the crossing owned by the fairies. And um, just started doing people's yards around there. Then I took a master gardening class and, and things have just developed. And then somebody here in the Shaw community asked if I was interested in doing um, a green space on this lot and I live right next door and that was just like yes of course and so we cleaned this was full of um, needles and broken bottles and and weeds and dog doo-doo and I mean it was just it was uh, atrocious and and you can see we haven't done anything to the structure that's here I mean and we brought in a chicken coop and and turned that into our little office we have a tent um, you know, we have a couple barbecues. We've just really made, do we call this the yard? This is our yard. So it's like my front yard. <laughs> I'm able to bring a couple of kids in the neighborhood that are uh, junior high and with permission slips from the parents, having them come in to work and learn how to tend to plants and make a little bit of money. So they're, it's really creating this sense of, uh, of belonging and togetherness in the neighborhood. One of the vetches that I have about being a small business is that I cannot compete at all with the big stores like Home Depot. So I really have to work at community, uh, connecting to the people here. I have to work at customer service. I really have to tend to the plants. There's also just a sense of the people here, we really want to connect to the people in the neighborhood. We want them to know that there's a place to go where they can ask questions, where they can learn. I get to connect to plants and I get to be with people. And I have to remind myself of that every single day when I start getting up into my head about the numbers or the, the invoices and the payroll and the rent and, and all the, the worries that, that other self-employed people deal with on a daily basis, I still can come back and touch the plants and put things in the ground and connect to people and just be with nature. And I can be outdoors and that's a blessing. Owner Frank Asher hopes to see other small businesses offer specific and localized services that big business competitors cannot. Through those services, customers will be more likely to buy from local businesses instead of the nationwide chain stores, says Frank. I'm Kelsey Edgerly. And I'm Russ Schubert. Thanks for watching. You can also find us online at dishacquirenews.com.